Today I will show you how to use the Codify tool on the M extension toolbar. This tool will allow you to set part numbers for all models and rename them, along with the drawings without any loose of links in between them. At any design stage you can use Codify to clean up the project sorting part numbers for all models. The project part numbers can be assigned in a structural way or plain sequential numbers. For any of the component I can include, exclude, locate in the assembly, locate on disk, or open. As you can see the library files like content center files and purchase parts are grayed out so we cannot modify them. Some of the items are shown in italics, meaning that they are reused through the project several times. I'm going to use a structural type of part number for this project. So I can have a prefix, a suffix, and as you can see, um, my project uses digits. That's why you have the small d. And the double d means double digit. So first level is just one digit, and the others are double digit. I could also use letters and virtually any code sequence can be generated. I can also change the delimiter to a plus point or any symbol that I can think of. So in this case the manufactured products start at 100 so the main assembly is going to be 100 and the rest of the components in sequential order are going to be 101 and so on and so on. I have also marked the assembly meaning it will add a zero to the end of all part numbers for the assemblies so I can identify them better. These are all my part numbers that have been generated. And up on the right corner I have also marked the rename with part number, meaning that all the files will be renamed based on the part number. So the models and the drawings will be renamed based on the part number that we just generated. See that's reused, that label. go ahead and save. I can refresh the list but I'm just gonna hit save. So skipping through the video this is the results. As you can see on the left the files have been renamed. It, it, it was under five minutes to rename 90 files. Now I'm gonna take off the mark assembly um, just so you can see how the assembly is appear without the zero at the end. Yeah. So I have this option as well. Looks good. Yeah. Taking the zero out. Alright, so now going back to my assembly, we can see that the browser nodes were renamed as well. And from my project folder, we're going to choose a random part to verify the results. Uh, just open this plate. Okay, open the drawing. Yep, so the drawing is still linked with the model. Let's look at the part number. Yep, part number has been updated. And the 
project, yeah. Alright, now um, let's go back to the model and look at the properties. So close the drawing. file name has been renamed, I mean it's been changed, the part number has been changed, it all looks good. And as you can see in my folder, it looks neat, they're all organized, arranged by the part numbers, so I have a neat looking folder now and everything's been ready for fabrication, so I can release this as it is now. This concludes my presentation on the codify function on the M extension toolbar.